We talked with some immigrants uh, last week and they said, I don't want to work, but I have to because I need the money. I'm uh, Patricia Mercado, the founder and director at Conexión Migrante. We have a media outlet and an organization who helps Latino and Mexican immigrants in the United States. We are trying now to give the community the best information to know where to get help. Most of the migrant community wants to know what kind of help can get because most of them, the undocumented uh, immigrants, has not access to health system or to formal help from the government. And many of them are calling us because they want to ask us how to come back to Mexico. What is Conexión Migrante hearing right now? The family members are trying to know when they can go to the United States or the, the families coming to Mexico. But I think the, the, the biggest concern now is the remittances. The money um, the immigrants send to their families in their countries of origin. The remittances are vital for our economy vital for these families and the specialist says the remittances will go down 30 percent. The medical help that is available, when somebody asks you what's available, what are you able to say? Now we are working in a list of organizations who can help these immigrants. With Sembra Media, we are publishing all the information state by state where the people can get health, help or psychological help or food help, but not all the states have it. So what are you able to do? Oh my God, it's very difficult because you have to say sometimes we don't have options for you. Maybe we can help you in other way. Maybe we can connect you with other immigrants, but it's very difficult now. Some of the Club Migrantes, there is these organizations about, among the immigrants um, are doing work in the United States. And some of them are doing work in Mexico because some of the families of the immigrants, they need help too. What if people are already sick? they are being helped from other members of the community. We have a very good example in New York, is an immigrant who is helping especially people who is sick of COVID-19. And they are taking food or medicines to them because nobody can help them. And last summer, we were dealing with family separation at the border and children being taken away. Have we ever found where those children are? Do we have any sense of the condition that they're living in? Children that were lost uh, last year, they they in the same conditions. They, they are now confined because of uh, the immigration problems, but because of COVID-19 too. This weekend we found that um, one detention center in California is with 19 people infected of COVID-19 and nothing is happening there. At the very same time that the migrant population, the community that you work with is being treated as unwanted, they are in fact very wanted. Yes. <laughs> and the workers in the fields, in food delivery and food supply chain have even been categorized as essential workers. In agriculture, they cannot stop. They cannot stop. They are working day and night. Yes, and not all of them uh, have, have masks or equipment. Coming out of this, we, are, we talk about forward thinking mm -hmm. on COVID-19. What would you like to see us have in place when this ends? What needs to be different? I think immigration has to have a new look a new view of all of us because we are we are seeing uh, the the uh, the crisis now and the immigrants are the people who are in the fields giving us food 
that is a very basic thing, but it's very important for us. And we, we need to see that immigration is not bad. Immigration is a right of anyone. And we have to respect that. And we have to look for the government to respect that. 